you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency, join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Tim Moore, the CEO of Haven Life Sciences. How are you doing today, Tim? I'm doing great, Rich. Good to be here. Great to have you on the show. Excited to learn more about your company. Tim, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Haven Life Sciences, Inc.? Well, um, I'm a career packaged goods guy, 35 years in that space. I spent 18 years at Clorox. I spent seven years running the North America Brita business, both the food service and the um, retail business. Um, I got into this space for personal reasons through cannabis originally. Um, and um, I have five sons. And before I tell this story, they're all fine, but it hasn't always been that way. I've dealt with mental health issues over the last three decades. Um, my oldest son will be 36 shortly. My youngest is 24. Um, two of my sons have anxiety disorder. Um, one was suicidal at 14 and was institutionalized for a while. Wow. Uh, my youngest son has Asperger's. Uh, my middle son got hit by a drunk driver, was very seriously injured, didn't work for a couple of years. And thanks to the medical and pharmaceutical industry, became an opioid addict. Um, so we spent two years uh, watching him uh, just die. Um, ultimately, it was cannabis that saved his life. And that got me into the cannabis space about four years ago. But when I saw the, the promise that uh, psychedelics offer for anxiety, depression, PTSD, anger management, substance abuse. I knew this was the place I needed to bring my skills to bear and, and help. Um, I believe that psychedelics is the industry of hope. Um, Haven Life is building a supply chain to support the industry of hope. Um, the, the really sad thing is that for people today with anxiety, depression, um, the best that they can currently hope for is to get numb enough to get through the day. And, and that road leads to suicide far too often. So psychedelics offer the promise of getting you back to being normal, to live your life, to wake up in the morning, looking forward to the day, to wanting to spend time with a significant other, to want to go on vacation. So um, if, if I can help other people not go through what I went through in the last three decades, that's going to be my contribution. Here today. That's great. Can you tell us what the main goals are for having Life Sciences Inc. for the last six months of 2021? Yeah, so we, we, last week we launched our nutritional supplements line, the first seven SKUs. On that side of the business, our milestones for the rest of this year are to expand our retail footprint, which currently includes Nestor's markets and Choices markets here in um, British Columbia. We'll be announcing additional retailers. Our e-commerce site, which is yourhavenlife.com is operational and people can go on an order for delivery in Canada or the US today. We'll be adding Amazon next week. So we'll be on Amazon as of next week. Great. Um, the next milestone after that will be the launch of some new SKUs. Um, I'm, today I'm at our, our manufacturing facility in Richmond where we're formulating some um, functional foods that we'll be launching uh, later this year. Uh, things like uh, teas that have additional uh, psychoactive mushroom components to them. Um, so that's, that's what's important on our, on our, our uh, retail side. On our, our restricted compound side, so psilocybin, um, we currently have a team on the ground in Jamaica where we have a facility that's growing psilocybin mushrooms. In Jamaica, those mushrooms fall under the Ministry of Agriculture as a functional food. They're not considered a drug. So the legal framework allows us to um, uh, implement our SOPs down there and get down the learning curve and validate our processes for the facility that we're building here in Vancouver, which will be completed later this year. So the, the milestones on our psychedelics business one will be the first shipment of active pharmaceutical agreement for ingredients from Jamaica back to Canada uh, later this year. Number two, we'll be then shipping it to our supply agreement customers in Canada, the US and Europe. And then number three will be the completion of our lab in Vancouver and securing our dealer's license so that in 2022, we'll be able to uh, produce um, active pharmaceutical ingredients at scale. Wow, you guys are gonna be really busy. Yes. Tim, can you tell us about your management team and directors? It's always important to know about the team behind the deal, uh, especially their past success in psychedelic sector and the public markets. So we have, what we've done is we've paired our science team with a very well-qualified operations team. 
Um, it's a lesson from the cannabis space where what we saw was too many cannabis companies, I think, were too slow to bring business operators in. Um, they had stock promoters and growers, but they didn't have people that actually had operationalized the business and managed cash flows and balance sheet and so on. So we, we started by putting together a, a team. Myself, I've explained my background. My chief science officer has uh, over 20 years experience in, in um, nutritional supplements where he was chief science officer at Jamison Labs. Um, he was also chief science officer at AFRIA. Uh, our chief operating officer, Jenna Poser, uh, she has 18 years in the nutritional supplement space. She's called on every major customer in Canada um, and worked with many manufacturers. Um, and so she's got deep experience. Uh, our chairman, Vic um, Newfeld, he was at Jamison Labs for a couple of decades. So he has that experience. Um, on our advisory board, we have um, uh, Alan Oberman, who ran Teva Pharmaceuticals in the um, um, Africa Middle East office and then in the Americas office. So he's run a $13 billion pharmaceutical business. So we've had, you know, as a team, um, considerable success um, in the packaged goods space. Importantly, we have the skill set to not only uh, operationalize that in Canada, but to internationalize that, go to the US and go to Europe, because collectively we've done that a number of times. So um, pretty excited about what the team is going to be able to accomplish. Excuse me. So Tim, we know that the psychedelic sector is still in its infancy stages, and it's very hard to generate revenue with the legal framework currently. In your opinion, what is the projected growth of the sector in the next couple of years? And how much do you think of this market share can Haven Life Sciences capture? So um, you're right. The, the road to revenue for most companies is a long one. Um, anyone that's pursuing a clinical trial model, they're really asking their shareholders to hold their breath for three to five years while they get through that um, and hope that you don't have a bad experience because it's very much a binary process. What we're doing instead is we're building a supply chain of, of API to support people operating um, retreats, um, uh, clinical uh, facilities where they're doing psychedelic assisted therapy or doing um, clinical trials. So we've been signing, signing supply agreements with people that need psilocybin today. Um, most of them are relying on synthetic psilocybin, which is expensive between $5,000 and $10,000 a gram. Um, and doesn't offer the uh, patient the alternative to pharmaceuticals that they're really looking for. So if you think back to synthetic THC, which was gonna revolutionize the cannabis industry, it didn't happen because people that wanted cannabis wanted something from a plant. They're more interested in what music the grower listens to than the, than the molecule. So with psilocybin, we see the opportunity for botanical or, or naturally derived compounds, and that's what we're focused on. And it's challenging. I mean. Growing mushrooms is actually pretty easy. Just unplug your refrigerator and wait three days and you're growing mushrooms, right? Um, but to, to grow mushrooms in a GMP compliant facility so that can be used as an active pharmaceutical ingredient and used in FDA approved trials, that's hard. And so our focus has been building the protocols to build the facility in Vancouver that will be GMP compliant so that we can supply ingredients to the industry. We will be in revenue later this year on APIs through that through that model. Wow, that's uh, impressive. We've interviewed so many psychedelic companies and there's only a few that might be able to get into revenue by the end of this year. So you're putting yourself in an elite company. Now in saying that, having life sciences, if you were supposed to, comp if you were able to compare yourself to your competitors in this sector, what would set you guys apart? There's a couple of things. First of all, on the um, nutraceutical side, we're manufacturing product at a quality and scale that's not being done right now. So if you go into a significant retailer, a shopper's drug mart, a Loblaws, um, you know, London drugs, you're not gonna see these products on the shelf because no one is manufacturing them at the quality and with the support to do that. Our team knows how to deal with those large retailers and knows how to manufacture at that quality. Um, importantly, we're using extracts rather than the raw mushroom, which provides a a uh, um, higher concentration of the active ingredient and in, it's easier to dose. So our quality is, is higher than what's in the marketplace. The second thing is we're backing it with a marketing and promotion and advertising that hasn't been seen in this space before, again, because of the experience that the team collectively has. So that sets us apart on the nutritional health side. On the psychedelic side, building this supply chain of naturally derived compounds across a range of genetics um, is, is setting us apart. There's, there's currently no GMP protocols for the cultivation um, of mushrooms and extraction of compounds. We're building those. 
We were the first company to get a Section 56 exemption to allow us to work with psilocybin compound in a lab to develop the protocols around quality and safety that we're going to need for our facility. So we'll continue to work with Health Canada on the approval of that facility as it's being built out, and we expect to have it licensed um, at, by the end of 2021. Now here at Rich TV Live, we've got members all over the world that are gonna be watching this interview. And one of the key characteristics that we like to focus on, we like to look at fundamentals of companies is their share structure. Can you break down the share structure and how you plan on attracting institutional and retail investors for Haven Life Sciences? Sure. Um, our um, cap table is pretty clean. We have 150 million shares fully diluted approximately. Um, we have no debt. Uh, we have around 20% of the shares that are held by insiders. We have a couple of very large institutional investors. Um, the, the, bot, the bot deal that closed in January was $11.5 million. There were only 23 participants in it. Approximately one third of that was one large uh, U.S. biotech, which I can't name, but it's well known. Um, so a pretty sticky investor. And the opportunity that psychedelics offer in contrast to cannabis is Cannabis has this US tension between state legal, federally illegal that keeps the institutional investors away. Um, what we're doing with psilocybin as an industry, what Haven Life is doing is completely legal on a federal basis with both Health Canada and the FDA. It's a simple way to think about it is when Pfizer creates a new heart drug, it's just as illegal as psilocybin until the FDA approves it. So we're working within the construct of a, getting a drug approved. And so that allows these um, um, uh, significant funds to come in and know that they're able to invest without having a liability on the, on the, on the federal side, because we are in compliance with FDA and health Canada rules. That's really, really cool. Now, if there was one thing that you would want shareholders to know about Haven life sciences today, what would it be? Um, you know, we're, 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 we're a passionate group. Um, we're intent on, on, on helping people with, as we said, you know, cognitive health and human performance. We have a, two clear paths to revenue, one that we've already executed. So there's been a lot of talk in this space, Rich. You know, there's been a lot of talk and not nearly as much action as people would like. Yeah. Um, and to me, it's kind of reminiscent of the, the um, dot-com boom where there was a lot of vaporware. So yeah. we just took our vaporware and we made it into hardware. Hardware. We're actually shipping product. You can order it today and have it in your hands in the next few days. And on the psychedelic side, we're actually growing mushrooms. We're doing extraction and refinement today, and we'll be shipping product later this year. So I think that the, the credibility that that brings to us by taking the words in our prospectus and the words from my various uh, presentations and saying, here's real product. We're in this business and we're real. Um, I think that really sets us apart. So there's going to be shareholders that are going to have some questions. There's going to be potential investors that are going to have some questions. What's the best way for them to get in contact with the company? Uh, go to havenlife.com. Um, there's a, a, a contact us uh, tab right there. Um, and feel free to, to send any questions through it all. Um, I'm an ask me anything kind of guy. So just ask me anything. Okay. And I'm, I'm happy to give them an answer. All right. So Appreciate that if they have interest. And Rich, if you see an opportunity for another discussion later on, I'm happy to come back and talk to you again. That would be great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Tim Moore, the CEO of Haven Life Sciences. And if you guys like this video, please remember to smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe for future updates. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here in Rich TV Live. Now, in saying that, I've done some due diligence on the company. I find that the company is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. I really like what you guys are doing, Tim. Keep up all the great work. Thanks, Rich. Have a great day. Always a pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with Tim Moore saying, have a nice day, everybody.